industrial engine manufacturers and users are moving to more efficient turbine type air starters. In doing so, it is important to understand the unique operating characteristics of turbine air motors that power these starters. Like a turbocharger, turbine type air starters operate at higher internal speeds. And because of these speeds, they take longer to stop spinning after a cranking cycle. This is referred to as starter coast down. Observe the coast down of two different turbine air starters using a common air supply and drive pressure. The starter on your left is a TDI turbo twin model T100V, and the starter on your right is a competitor similar style turbine air starter. Note the gauge at the top of the screen indicates when the starters are being driven by air and when that air supply has been turned off. Let's watch. Observe that both turbine air starters behave basically the same after the run cycle is completed. The pinion gears continue to rotate at high speeds even after the drive air is cut off. Let's watch again at closer range. It takes at least 7 to 9 seconds for the starters to come to rest after high speed operation. Best operating practice indicates that starters should not be re-engaged to the engine until the starter has come to a complete stop. This is an important point to consider for installation, control, and use of these starters by equipment OEMs and end users. This video is brought to you by TDI, the inventor of turbine air starters for industrial engines. TDI can suggest engine starter control options to make your engine starting systems last longer and perform better. Start fast and make it last. Select TDI Turbo Twin Air Starters.